Hey what's up guys if you're looking for some cheap fast and reliable cash gold bars or modded accounts in reddit online check out dgzgold.com they're definitely the best when it comes to in-game services and don't forget to use code LAMPS L -A -M -P -S, during checkout that will give you a 5% bonus discount they also host a range of giveaways which includes consoles so definitely go and check them out guys all the details will be down in the description below alright let's begin today's video Alright guys, unlimited gold bars glitch, unlimited treasure maps glitch, no rolls required whatsoever. Seriously, what more can you guys want? Even if you're a beginner and you started playing Reddit online today, you can do this as well. It's seriously the most OP glitch that's working right now. Alright, so before attempting this glitch, you'll want to set up a few things. So first of all, you'll want to change your MTU setting to 800. So on PS4 and PS5, you can simply do that by going to your network settings. On Xbox and PC, you can change your MTU setting by going to your router's IP address and changing it that way. And if you don't want to do all that, you can use the poker table solo lobby method. So when you change your MTU setting to 800, you'll be placed into a solo lobby and we are going to take advantage of the random encounters and random encounters are best like they work best when you're in a solo lobby you can even do this in a normal lobby but it'll be difficult and it'll take double time so get yourself into a solo lobby by changing your MTU setting that's the best and easiest way alright so next you want to bring your ass over here to Emerald Station and you don't stand next to the post office and while you're standing next to the post office, you'll want to set your camp up in the heartlands. And you'll want your camp close to the H in New Hanover. That's not the perfect spot, but that'll do for now. Like later in the video, I'll show you what the best spot is for the camp. Like if you get your camp close to anywhere, like between the H and A in New Hanover, like even if it's like a bit south or north doesn't matter but make sure it's close to the H and A in New Hanover so as you can see I've marked five locations one two three four five count it down if you know how to count <laughs> so three of them are treasure maps on trees locations and two of them are treasure hunter encounters so you can pretty much find like treasure maps from those locations each time you do this so I'm just restarting this because while on my way here I found a different random encounter. So if you find a different encounter while you're making your way to Emerald Station, just set your camp up, get your camp to the location that I told you and then restart. By restarting I mean just disconnect from the internet and just load back into your camp. Alright, let's go and find a couple of treasure maps. So after you're done with the setup, just load back into your camp and go to all the five different spots and you should see a treasure map either on a tree or you should find one of those random encounters you can go to the spot in any pattern you want but just for the sake of consistency take the same route as me and this is the first spot as you can see right here but there is no light on the tree which means there is no treasure map so during night time it's easier because you can spot from a bit far away if there is a treasure map on a tree because the tree will be lit like there'll be a um, there'll be a lantern at the base of the tree so you're going to make some serious gold from this because one treasure chest gives you anywhere between one to two gold bars and you get like hundred bucks as well and if you're a beginner you find some pamphlets too like crafting pamphlets like upgrade pamphlets so it's really OP get some XP provisions don't forget you get pretty much everything just from one treasure chest <laughs> all the gold diggers are going to come after me now after this video Shit. and again make sure you are in a solo lobby that's the first main important step because the game works best when you're in a solo lobby especially when it comes to random encounters because that's what these treasure map locations are random encounters Alright, so we have checked four spots, so we haven't found any, so this is the fifth spot right here. This tree, but there is no treasure map. And sometimes you have to look on the same spot twice, as you'll see on this video, that I'll find the treasure map on the first spot. 
And again, thank you guys so much for 12k subs. Seriously, means a lot. I'm still taking it in. <laughs> 12k, ow. See, even my horse got excited. <laughs> Behave, Nobu. Behave. Oh my god, the hell is wrong with you today? Don't make me change your name to dummy again, like I did before. We have last warning. I'll sell your ass. Okay. So you can see I'm going towards the first spot again because I couldn't find the location. I mean, I couldn't find the treasure map on any of the five spots. So if that happens to you, which is very rare, just go to the first location again and simply run through all the five different spots and you should be able to find it okay, and as you can see I'm going towards the tree and should be right here not in this one alright my bad it was on the next one <laughs> so right here I was trying to change the location of my can to the perfect spot so I'll just uh, transition the video a little bit Alright, so now you'll see the treasure map. As you can see, the camp is not here anymore. It doesn't really matter, like if you're using the MTU setting, it doesn't really matter where your camp is. There you go guys, as you can see, the tree is lit, which means there is a treasure map on the tree. There you go. Now, this is the most important part about the glitch. So just approach the treasure map, pick it up normally. Triangle, if you're on PlayStation, to pick it up. And as soon as you see the name of the treasure map on the screen, wait for it. Disconnect from the internet. If you're on PlayStation, just set up a hotkey on your network settings. You can disconnect that way. If you're on Xbox, just select go offline and then go online. And after you've done that, just load back into your camp or free roam, whatever you want. And don't mess this up guys because if you do you'll have to wait three days real time like 72 hours before you can attempt the glitch again so immediately disconnect after you pick up the treasure map and sometimes you might see like a different random encounter pop up if that's the case immediately disconnect and reconnect and then reattempt the glitch so here I am on my second run and if I don't reply immediately after uploading this video it's because my ass will be asleep Hopefully I don't dream about Silent Hill like yesterday. <laughs> I've been watching lots of Silent Hill stuff. It's my favorite horror game franchise. So here's another treasure map. That's how easy it is guys. Easy peasy. Lamps is sexy. There you go. Nice rhyme. Made it myself. <laughs> but again, wait for it to show up on the screen. As soon as the name shows up, disconnect from the internet. And then load back into your camp or free roam and rinse and repeat the process. But anyways, that's about it for today. See you tomorrow. Take care. Peace out.